The video is fighting Sophia Momodu over joint custody. I have seen a lot of videos of people attacking Sophia or attacking Davido. In my opinion, instead of attacking Davido or Sophia or Sophia, we should rather educate them on the impact it will have on the child if Davido is kept out of the child's life. Let's dive into this topic. I'm back again. We all know the video has a daughter called Imadi Anase Imaid. I hope I pronounced it right. If not, correct me in the comment section. With another woman. It seems like the video and the mother of his, uh, his daughter no, don't understand each other for whatever reason. The issue between him and the mother of his daughter regarding their child has always been a topic in the entertainment space. It looked like it had taken a break. But yesterday, the old battle between both of them and I say between them was resurrected. From the information I have, this time around, it is about Davido asking for a joint custody, which the mother of his, uh, his daughter no, is refusing. Right now, the case about Davido wanting a joint custody has reached the court. And the reason Sophia doesn't want your friend saying Davido to have a joint custody, no, <laughs> doesn't even make sense. It states the applicant is married to another woman and they live together. The proper upbringing of our daughter by another cannot be guaranteed. It sounds like she doesn't have a problem with Davido having or wanting a joint custody. The main problem is another woman being involved in the upbringing of their daughter. Women should put their emotions aside, especially when children are involved. Bro, the first priority should be the child. Does the child want to see her father? I think yes. And I'm a boy. And I'm not sure or I don't think she has ever felt unsafe, your friends saying, around the video. How you feel? As a mother about the father, no, shouldn't be relevant in this case. We all know women are emotional people. And we also know 9 out of 10, their decisions are made based on their emotions. Some women think just because they carried the child for 9 months, they can decide everything for the child without involving the father. But without a man, you wouldn't get pregnant. And women need men as men need women. And not dear Charlie, not even scientists can change anything about it. Even if you don't have sexual intercourse to get pregnant and you go to the sperm donor, bro, it's male sperm they, in they inject into you to get pregnant. This means without a man, this can never happen. And without women, it will never be possible for a child to be born. A 50 50. Another reason states the fact that the applicant lost his son in his house under rather unfortunate and questionable circumstances shows our daughter cannot be placed in the custody of the applicant. I remind you, women make their decisions based on their emotions. What does his late son have to do with this case? Kachireme, tell me. It is a case about him wanting a joint custody. And this case is about uh, your daughter, Imaid or Imadi. So she should have left his lost son out of this story because he has nothing to do with it. But as we all know, emotional women will always bring issues that don't have anything to do with the actual issue. And what happened to his son could have happened to anybody else's son. It was an accident. This particular part of the court letter didn't sit well with Davido, so he decided to respond. You're consistently bringing up the death of my child at any point you can, just to remind us of this tragedy that haunts us every day of our lives. Imadi will grow up to see I fought for her. As for now, you can have her. P.S. She will be a child forever. Enjoy. Imadi Adeliki. Your father loves you. Because of women like Sophia, so many fathers have given up on their children. Bro, from what I have read about this issue, 
it looks like she is trying everything she can to prevent Davido from having a joint custody. She is even lucky Davido wants to fight for their child or wants to fight or wants to be in their child's life. Bro, do you know how many fathers abroad have given up on their children because of their mothers? Many, not because they don't want to be in the lives of their children, but because their mothers have blocked any access to the children. And you, you are lucky the video wants to be in the life of your child and you don't like it. Hey, do you know how many women would like to be in that position? Not every father has money for a lawyer. So they often give up for the sake of peace. Why should such a normal thing become a court case? We both had sex. What do you say? You became pregnant. Why shouldn't we both take care of the child? Why you alone want to take care of the child? Wasn't, I, wasn't he involved during the preparation or during the creating? He was involved. So right now, why you want to keep the child away from him? Charlie, I don't know the background story of your friend saying Sophia though. I don't know whether she grew up with both uh, with both parents. If she did that, she should at least want exactly the same for her child. If she really loves her child. These women don't want the fathers to be in their children's lives. But want the fathers to support them financially through child support. Charlie, the world is sometimes not fair at all to us men. These are some of the reasons some men don't want to have children at all. Because the woman who seemed to be an angel you know, can turn into a devil once a child is involved. Charlie, and this you know, is a 0 to 100 real quick. She should think about the mental health of the child. Right now, she will think, and I said she will be thinking she's favoring the child, but she doesn't realize she is rather damaging the child. We are living in a modern age where the child will grow up with access to the internet and many other resources. The evidence of the video fighting for her will be on the internet forever, where she will learn the real truth. It is not like back in the days when mothers could tell fabricated stories about fathers without fear of being discovered. Today's digital documentation changes everything. Studies have shown that children without fathers face challenges, have difficulties forming and maintaining healthy relationships, and might struggle with trust issues. And these are only some of the short-term psychological impacts. The absence of a father can also have a long-lasting psychological effect, influencing an individual's mental health and relationships into adulthood. I have a couple of friends who didn't have fathers while growing up. And you could clearly notice it without them even telling you because it reflects in their behavior and mental health. So I hope she does the right thing and doesn't regret it later when the child has grown up. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless. Write your opinion in the comment section and let's discuss. Like this video, tag this video. If you, love, if you want to cry, actually, tag Sophia for her to come learn something. And I say, whoever is near to her, be, uh, try, try and tap it, try and send a link to her. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. If you're new on this channel and haven't subscribed, do me a favor, punch the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so whenever I drop a video, you won't miss out. Like, share, tag a friend to tag a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend for the algorithm to pick up and recommend this video. One shot. This video will be recommended to your friends in Sophia. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless once again. I'm out.